this is a tutorial on how to turn a vocal loop into a synthesizer in Logic. Uh, it has a pretty cool way of doing this with Alchemy that I'm gonna explore. So I'm gonna show you the vocal first and then we're going to extend it and turn it into a pretty cool synth. So basically I want this to extend into this and uh, in a way that I could affect it and um, change the pitch and glide and stuff like I would in a synthesizer. So when it's said and done, it'll be kind of like this. Okay, so that's basically it. Now, uh, <laughs> when it first came in, the volume was a little off and stuff, but uh, that wasn't intended. I just was messing around with this. Anyways, let's remove this fade, and I'll show you how I went through the process of making that and some other cool things you can do with it. So we're going to take this part right here, the last, the very last down, word. Down, down. So we take down, but cut it after the D sound, like this right here. Actually, let's move it where it was a little more sustained. Perfect. Now, just to avoid any confusion, we're going to control B to bounce it in place. And that's that name's fine. Um, we open a new software instrument and we'll select Alchemy Stereo Create. We open Alchemy, and first thing you always want to do is clear it just in case uh, the default isn't very basic. So, source, we're going to import audio. And the easiest way to do this is go to your media browser for your project, and we'll find the title of what we just bounced. So, it's basically LD print 1 BIP 1. So, we can actually grab this and drop it right into the drop zone here. But when we do this, we want to make sure we have additive uh, plus spectral, actually, is probably the best way to recreate the sound. So let's check that out. Call up your uh, keyboard, or if you have a MIDI keyboard, whatever, just test it out a little bit. Um, let's see, what's, oh, it's soloed out here. Gotta watch out for that. <laughs> So it basically brought it in. What we're gonna do now is edit. We're gonna go in and the start point is fine. We can set the sample endpoint with this E here. And there's a loop feature. Forward and back is usually the uh, least obvious because it'll kind of, uh, it'll smoothly loop forward and backward. I found it's best for vocals. So anyways, actually, let's do the end point out here, and then the loop will actually just be right here. So then we draw in whatever notes we want to. And the trick to getting them to blend together, I mean, if, you, if you're even interested in that, some people just want to take a, take a vocal loop and turn it into a synth that they could use for a drop, like, you know, say, like a DJ Snake type of thing. So I already have this down here. These are the notes that I wanted. I will tell you, the update for Logic added so many bugs it's unreal i just i can't believe it let's see and then basically we're going to take the other part and fade it out this one we actually forgot to do something here 
we will go into advanced. We're going to exit this part by clicking the X up here. And in global, we'll just put the attack up so it kind of fades in. We'll see what this sounds like. It's a little softer. We'll do it a little longer. Though. Okay. Let's hear these two together only. Now this has processing on it. This does not. So let's route this for the time being to my vocal bus. It will have processing on it. So let's hear this. Let's see what it sounds like at first. There's always something that's pulling me down, down, down. Okay, something else we want to do in my instance uh, may not be the case when you do it, but I definitely want it to be legato with a little bit of glide and the number will always be one for me uh, for this kind of application. Also, I'm going to go down to effects and just do a little like tube distortion or something just to make it come out a little stronger. Uh, some of the spectral artifacts are kind of I don't know, not pleasing to me right now, but there's all sorts of ways you can spice something up and make it sound a little bit better. So it's just one of those. Down, down, down. Cool. So that's basically it for that technique. I'm actually gonna take, uh, remove this fade. I'm actually gonna command J because there was a click. No, no. Nope. Instead, I'll just drag it out the way it used to be. And don't forget to put that fade in to kind of blend the two together. Now, that's just one cool technique because uh, I'll tell you what, Logic has a couple of really strong areas. One really strong tool they have, of course, is the balance in place. I think it's the easiest out of uh, several different DAWs to just, if you're on the go, just take a synth lead or whatever you want, bounce it to audio, and you can affect it with flex pitch, flex audio, all these cool different things. Definitely have videos coming up on those. But also, I would say their built-in plugins, especially since they bought Camel Audio and put Alchemy in there. Wow, what a powerful synth this is. And you can also go as far as to copy the source, go to a different one and paste it. So now we have two of the same uh, two of the same sources here. I could pan this one down perfect fifth. Um, I said pan, transpose it. But anyways, you can take uh, an LFO on the pan and make it like kind of wider. We'll just take the sink off. We'll see what this sounds like. Sounds pretty cool. That pan's a little out of control though. just because it's a little extra, man. So you can do that and you can even take one down here and put it up an octave. Actually, let's, let's see what that sounds like. That might be interesting. Paste, up one octave. And you can uh, apply separate filters on them, high pass sweeps, band pass sweeps, whatever. Definitely want to adjust the volumes on them. You don't want them all screaming. Screaming at the same volume, that'd be crazy. You definitely want this one to take the lead though. Let's hear. And the more we do here, the further it'll get away from the, the bass sound. Um, but it still might add a cool element of texture on top of it. There's always something that's holding me down, down, Cool. So that's it for that technique. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe. Hit that like button. Also, leave me feedback if you want me to do any techniques in general. I'll be glad to listen. Take care.